Remember what I said is that, look, I haven't gone to inspect the work. You okay. say you have inspected the work. If anything happens, I'll hold you responsible, and so on and so forth. So I looked through at the weekend. I sat, I went through all the documents, and I signed the ones that were okay. So um, they came the following week. Just on time, they were signed. And they were quite surprised. Right, yeah. And I remember later on, one of them came to my office and said oh madam what would you like me to do for you i said look if you don't get out of my office yeah. i'll have you arrested because <laughs> i'm doing my work right. yeah I'm doing Pri my work great principal i can tell princess from archimota hello princess good evening hello good evening and many thanks for your time auntie joyce are you here please yeah hello auntie joyce hello princess how are you Good. I just want to say that you are so much of an inspiration to me. Amen to that. Hallelujah. Some of us look up to you as a role model, and um, I've actually gone through a bit of what you also gone through in terms of marriage. Oh, okay. I want to say that God bless you. Amen. Um, you live because of your good virtues. God yes. bless you. Thank you, Princess. And hold on, right? Yeah, cry, cry in your pillow. But the next day, don't let anybody know you've been crying. <laughs> Wash your face and put on your best makeup. Wow. Thank you. Kweko Kisi from New Ningo. Hello. Good evening, Kweko Kisi. Yeah, good evening. Please, the ministry is hot and light. Please, why is hot and light? And did my auntie ever did just Shema Rollins? Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Auntie Joyce. Well, Ron is his man, married. How do you date him? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know what the word he should be using. But um, salt and light, because that's what Jesus says we are. Mm. And for me, because Jesus is the creative word of God, when he says you are something, that is what you yeah. are. And what he's saying is that we're people of influence. You know, salt touches anything and it changes it for good. So it means that if you're a Christian, wherever you are, you actually make the place good mm. and light because light dispels That's darkness yeah. shows the way cheers people and it also is also a powerful force mm. so that's what we are that's what we are in 2009 you were named the african female business leader of the year yes how did you receive that news? Hmm. i was saying you know you know you work you work not because you think somebody is looking but then you are humbled because others are watching mm. so it means that if indeed you're determined to do your work well then you should do it well because others are watching when you don't even know I don't know how I got nominated you know and I was so surprised when to receive the, 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 the award in Paris the following year wow. yeah Reverend Joyce Ayi of Salt and Light Ministries. Tell us about the it's ministry. It's not a church. Yes. How's it doing? It's not. Well, God is good. I'm waiting to have a program on joy. But really? Yeah, but I we'll don't give have you the airtime. Free. Talk to Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're going to give me part of your time. Well, let's see. I'll, 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 I'll raise some bit of sponsorship for you. I'll, I'll that would be lovely. Yes, that would be I'll, lovely. I'll, I'll love to do that, that for you, Auntie lovely. Joyce. And you know, what, what news should we be expecting from you? 2012. New, yeah. 2012. Yes. Oh, 2012, I, I, I don't have any new thing as such. Mm. I think I would like to do what I've always been doing well. Okay. Uh, I'm still doing some consultancies. I believe that uh, we need to communicate well, we need to manage things well. So I'm offering management and, and communication consultancy. Right. So where's the and office? Then, my office is on the first floor of uh, the building uh, where you have the a craft physiotherapy and sports injury center at Abilinki, okay. two doors away from Sky TV. Right. That's where I am. Wow. I, I have a, a floor there. Well, as we wrap it all up, we'd like to pick your Easter message and also message for the youth out there. Yeah. First, let me talk about the youth. Sure. You know, if you're a young person, you have a big future ahead of you, but it's a future you yourself have to be involved in. Nobody is going to give you what you want on a silver platter. You have to work hard. You have to work with honesty. You have to believe in integrity. And you have to actually learn that the world is not just about you. It's about you plus several other people. And it is how 
you do your bit and others do their bit that is how you get the world that you want to live in mm. so please don't have expectations of others when you don't want to do anything to meet this, those same expectations i think that is important of course you need role models to fashion your life after but a lot also depends on how you you put in your best that's right and easter, we'll yes, yes. Yeah, easter message easter is simply about god loving us so much and wanting so much reconciliation with us that knowing we couldn't do it ourselves he himself played that role he came down jesus came down died for us exchanged his life for our life that is the thing and the crucifixion means that he's carried our sins away the resurrection means that he is risen with new life for us Please, if you're a Christian, don't live the same way you've been living all this time and say you're a Christian because a Christian means a new transformed life mm. in the power of God. Powerful Everybody message. has a past, mm. but thank God the blood wipes God it God. clean. Wow. And we start again. Wow. A clean slate. Yes. Indeed. At 66, a man still knocking. That, I haven't had any knock for a while. <laughs> I think I think most of them are terrified. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie or Joyce. Or maybe they think somebody else is there. there. Yeah, but, but there's anyway, nobody. Oh, they should stay away. I don't. Really? No, no, they should stay away. I told God that mm. unless it's going to significantly bring Him glory. Yes. Then I would you never love, say never. Maybe yeah, I would. Know. I would love to mm. be in my uh, third celibacy. <laughs>